Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason. You're watching Old Car Auto Guy, and it's Reviews Day. Okay guys, today on Reviews Day, we're taking a look at my 2014 Kia Optima LX. So let's get to it. And there you go guys, a generic overview of what this 2014 Kia Optima has to offer. Let's take a closer look. As you can see from the overall appearance on the car, it does come with fog lights up front as well as the turn signal indicators in the rear view mirror. Now this vehicle being an LX does have aluminum wheels, fog lights, heated seats and much much more. The overall condition of these tires is like new. This car has four-wheel disc brakes and all four of them have been serviced all the way around the car. The previous owner has opted for this front hood protector. But as we walk around the car, there are a few minor imperfections, so let's take a look at those. So I'm not sure if you can see them on camera, but there are a few minor scratches in the driver's side rear door. As we come back here to the trunk on the top of the bumper cover here, you will notice there's a few little nicks from taking parcels in and out. On the passenger side rocker panel, now these are plastic, there is a couple of small little chips here from people dragging their feet in and out. There is some slight curb rash along the leading edge of the front bumper here. You can tell somebody's gotten a little bit too close to a curb at some point. The overall condition of this 2014 Kia Optima LX is very good. With only 63,000 kilometers, it still has a lot of life left on it and we've got a price tag of 14,450. And I will let you know, that with every vehicle purchase on our lot this month in November, you will be receiving four brand new snow tires to go with your purchase to get you through this treacherous winter that's ahead. Currently the license and the inspection has expired, which is good for you because that means you're gonna get a brand new inspection, good for 2019, as well as licensing for one full year. So let's move into the interior. First thing we notice is on the driver's seat, it is power with lumbar support and in true kia fashion the steering wheel is loaded with buttons including cruise control radio and bluetooth we are going to start this beast because it is cold today Pretty standard layout on the dash. You've got your tack on the left, your speedo in the middle, and your gas and heat gauge on the right. One of the things that we'll notice on these Kias, these newer ones, is the amount of information that gets displayed through the menu. 
So here we have your distance to empty, your mileage, and the temperature outside. And we have a whole selection of user settings that we can go through on the interior of this vehicle. You will notice that this vehicle does have an eco feature to help get you optimum fuel mileage. And it does have driver and passenger lighted vanity mirrors. So one of the first things that I do notice about this car, even though it has the power seats, power seats are usually an advantage for someone like me who is tall. I've got the seat all the way down as far as it'll go and I feel like I'm sitting on top of the world. Now granted, I do have a little bit of headroom left up here as long as I don't wear my hair too high. Yes, that's a joke. And I feel comfortable in the seat and that lumbar feels good. I always like to talk about visibility in cars when I get into them. You know that when I did the review on the Kia Rondo and the Fiat 500L, I bragged about how much visibility those vehicles had. This one is actually quite similar. I don't find it very difficult to see out of this vehicle. Now this being an LX model, backup sensors and backup cameras did not come as a standard equipment. But I wish they did because I really like backup cameras. As you can see, this does have a basic radio setup, AM, FM with CD and satellite radio, which you get free for 90 days. We come down, you'll see it's got a separate clock and your basic heater controls. And the driver and passenger heated seat buttons are here on the right hand side. A couple of cup holders and plenty of storage. Let's take a look. There is a huge glove box along with a very, very thick owner's manual. Each door, of course, comes with map pocket and drink holder. And we come into the center console and you've got this little removable tray and a deep storage compartment here. And in the back, you'll see the center armrest folds down out of the back of the seat with a couple of cup holders. So now it's time to switch over to the GoPro and we will go for a drive in this car and see how she handles. Safety first. Now in this LX model, it does offer the 2.4 liter naturally aspirated engine has plenty of pickup and again as I've always bragged about with these Kias and Hyundai products is very very smooth shifting in the transmission. So we're going to test the cruise control make sure that it works and no surprises there. So we'll hit the accelerate button make sure that she goes up and it does. So there is no traffic behind us we're going to get her up to 100k and we're going to do a hard brake and then a quick acceleration. So we are at a hundred so we are going to brake in three Two, one. I think we even got some brake smoke out of that one. But the ABS does work. Why? Because we service those brakes all the way around. So now for a quick acceleration. So we hit 100 clicks just as we're shifting into third gear. I really do like these cars. Now, I know that if we had a turbo backed behind this engine, it would be absolutely perfect. Why? Well, because they're already a little bit quick as it is. They shift really, really well. So getting up through those gears with a little bit more power, man, this one would be a rocket ship. Now I know we always talk about fuel economy on each vehicle that I do a reviews day on, so I will put those numbers right above so that you can take a look at that. And one thing that I always notice about this particular model is that when I go to fill them up from empty, the distance to empty on the trip computer will tell me exactly how many kilometers I will get on a tank of fuel. And it's generally over 800 to 830 kilometers on a full tank of fuel. That is a ton of mileage, guys. That is like almost 600 miles on a tank of fuel. That's almost unheard of for a gasoline engine, but you know what? They're stretching it out further and further. I really do like the handling in these cars. It's a mid-sized car and uh, it doesn't feel really heavy. The steering is just nice and tight and I've really got nothing to complain about with this car. So guys, there you have it my review on the 2014 Kia Optima LX. At 14,450, we have competitive pricing, 90 day, 3000 kilometer warranty, four free snow tires, and we've got service after the sale. So today I wanted to make mention that I am wearing my Grant Tommy straight six fan Pistons tee. If you want yours, the link is in the description below. And my t-shirts are coming 
They will be here hopefully this week, so we'll be sure to get those out to those of you who ordered them. Also, don't forget that on Saturday, November the 17th, is the big reveal for something huge that's coming to this channel. You're not gonna wanna miss out, but you are gonna wanna be subscribed, so be sure to like this, subscribe below, and don't forget to leave your comments, ask me questions. We're gonna have a Q&A coming up very shortly. Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you, God bless. We'll see you in the next upload.